Have you got a to-do list that just keeps growing? Maybe it's because you think the jobs are too hard. But most of the time, they're simple fixes. So let's get started. Now, this is a common problem. You know when you have a screw with a bird head and you can't get it out? Well, with this tool, it will get it out every time, no matter how damaged your screw is. Amazing. And you don't have to spend a fortune to get the job done right either. For under $10, this will work perfect. Ah, this will do the trick. Back in the day, it was common practice to grout the joints in your tiles, but also in the corners. But over time, we've realised that buildings move, and those corners crack. So to prevent that from happening, we now use silicon. Scrape away the old grout and make sure there's no dust, so the silicon can stick. I've put some masking tape down so we end up with nice straight lines. Then once you put your silicon in, just put some turps or some soapy water on your finger to wipe it smooth. Peel off your tape, then just tidy up the edges. Well, that's one quick fix done. We've got three more to go. We all have a room in our house that doesn't get much light, like this one. But wouldn't it be great if we could turn a manhole into a skylight? I've removed the old manhole because the new one that I'm putting in is going to be bigger. So I'm using these two existing sides to measure off. Then I can cut it out, trim it out with some more timbers, and then slip our new frame in. I'm just tidying up the old plaster and giving it a fresh coat of paint. This manhole skylight isn't like a normal skylight. We don't need a shaft in the roof. Instead, it runs off a solar panel. So I'm just going to fix this in place then we can plug it in, and during the day, we've got light, and at night, it's dark. And there you have it. This manhole has three uses. It gets you up into your roof. You can use the panel as a light when you're going through your roof space. But also, it's a skylight, so it lights up the room. How good is that? How often do you see this? Bird screws that you can't get out. And that's why this broken winder hasn't been replaced. But with this bit, it makes getting those damaged screws out too easy. Use the drill in first to create a new hole in the head of your screw. Then flip the bit and use the serrated end to pull out the old screw. Ingenious. That is absolutely amazing. And once you've gotten the broken winder off, as easy as just putting the new one back on. And as simple as that, it's another quick fix out the way. Oh, that didn't sound good. Look at that. Something as simple as a doorstop would have prevented this from happening. But the good news is it's not that hard to fix. I'll show you how. Now, because the hole's pretty deep, I'm not just using a standard filler. I'm going to be using a rapid patch, which will dry harder and it won't shrink. And you just want to make sure that when you're mixing it up, you've got that toothpaste consistency. Now, we can wait for this to dry, but I'll give it a quick sand and put on some top coat. I've used a sealer and undercoat where I've patched the wall up, and then I've got a colour match made for the existing colour, which means I don't have to paint the rest of the room, only this wall from corner to corner. And lucky for me, it's not a big wall. Then, just fix your doorstop to the skirting board. With these simple tips, you can close the door on those little fix-ups around your place. <laughs>